And now we get to the wrap up here. We ask that parents, guardians, review the code of conduct, especially the information that speaks to our framework for citizenship. Remember, that's world citizenship. All members of our community should be aware of those behaviors that are contrary to good student behavior and could lead to consequences as related to the code of conduct. Think about the last part of that. Contrary to good student behavior, what is a part of good student behavior? Tolerance. By tolerance, they mean acceptance. Acceptance, they mean respect, acceptance, blind acceptance, and blind respect of all peoples and all beliefs. By student behavior, they mean patriotism, loyalty to the flag, pledge of allegiance to the flag. Do not, do not contradict the flag. Do not contradict the state. Do not demonstrate disloyalty to the state. Does any of this sound like North Korea? Does any of this sound like 1984? Does any of this sound like Hitler's Germany? Does any of this sound like the Soviet Union to you? Okay, so we don't as of yet have secret police that are working to turn in informants and to we, we're, we're not waking up to find our neighbors suddenly mysteriously disappearing. Okay, so I don't want to blow this out of proportion. But uh, you cannot deny that this aspect is, is not unsimilar to these types of totalitarian regimes. And this is, this is a curriculum that is designed, this is all wrapped around the whole child program designed by the Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development. This is social engineering designed to produce first a child that comes to nationalism and then from nationalism goes on to internationalism. That's what this is all about, folks, and uh, what they are asking us to do. We'll get to the uh, to, 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 to the part where they're, they're finally asking for the appeal here. Your signature and your child's signature below indicate that you have been given a copy of the Student Code of Conduct for your review. Now, for me, the key phrase there is review. No. I have not been given a student code of conduct for my review. Review means to assess and to give feedback, to say what you think about it. You know, you're not asking for feedback. You're asking for a signature, a signature that sends a message to your child. And you're probably not even aware of the message that you're sending. The message that it's sending to your child is, I approve. I, 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 I think this is a good thing. I, you know, or e even if you're not saying I approve, I think this is a good thing. It's a normalizing of something that should not be normal. If this truly is the land of the free, the home of the brave, is this truly is the nation that was built upon the idea of individual liberty? then this would not be considered normal. This would be considered way above and beyond the pale. The parents would be revolting in the streets, but no, not a freaking word from the parents because it's normal. It's I grew up saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I grew up believing it was a normal thing to be patriotic. The sacrifice, I was given the conflicting information. But here, 
It's you know, at least when I grew up, I was at least given conflicting information. I was given individual liberty, and I was also given you know, you know, greater you know, to 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 sacrifice yourself for your nation is the greatest and most noble ideal possible. Very, 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 very uh, conflicting worldviews here. But now this curriculum, the whole child curriculum, it it dispenses with the myth altogether. They're not even hiding that it's it's not about individual liberty at all. It's all wrapped around the community, and it will take it out in its it's like a pebble that's been thrown into the middle of the water, and your child has no idea where the ripples lead to. The first ripple out is just the community. The second ripple out, hey, it, might, it might be your county. It might be your state. The third, fourth ripple out, well, that's the United States of America, a Pledge of Allegiance. But then that last ripple, that last ripple, that's the world. That's where this is headed. And I have this little part here, the, the parents uh, this is this is not in the same document. This is the second document. This is actually it gives a little bit more information of what their 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 good citizen crap is, uh, and, and most of it on its surface it kind of it doesn't really tell you much. But but I thought these these parts were here. Uh, th this was pretty important because this is the part that the parent is agreeing to. Now you're not agreeing to this by signing this document. Let's be sure. The only thing that you're agreeing to by signing this document. If we go back here, is that uh, you've been given a copy of the student code of conduct for your review? No, no, I've been given a copy for me to 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 blindly stamp my approval on, or at least my my complacency with. And by the way, this document, uh, this document needs to be signed. I actually, uh, unfortunately, my my daughter signed this document. I, I. I'm, I'm not aware, I don't believe that my wife signed this document, so only she signed this document. I did not sign this document, and I wouldn't sign this document. Uh, but she did say that uh, there was one student who hadn't signed the document, and the teacher stopped everything to call that child up to make sure that that child signed that document. I am telling you, this isn't some innocuous uh, uh, little thing. Th th this is... What they're saying is this is what their whole school curriculum is built around. It's not built around the three R's. It's not built around reading, writing, arithmetic. It's not built around equipping your child to be able to make their own decisions. It is about socially engineering for a desired outcome. And that outcome is that you will have a child who is loyal to the state, loyal to the international community, understands that it is the community first and foremost. The individual is simply there to better the community. Th that's state socialism. That's state communism. Whatever, that's state fascism. Uh, they're, they're all very different. They're, they have a they have some things in common. And one of the things that they all have in common is a belief that it is first and foremost about the community becoming better and better. And that the individual themselves are only important in as much as they relate, as they enable the community as a whole to become better. And it's a small number of social engineers, regulators, educators legislators who are going to to come up with the plan who are going to define what that community is what, what that community means so at the end of the day we get to this last part volunteering this is this is what 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 it means for the parents uh, these are these are the requirements volunteering in their child's classroom and then it says required that doesn't sound a really into you a little uh, a little uh, uh, <laughs> a little little contradictory volunteering is now something that's required that's not double speak supporting their child's learning required now remember supporting their child's learning what does that mean that means that you are supporting your child being conditioned, being indoctrinated, being engineered to become not their their in original selves, not their 
their their unique selves, not to define success in their way, not to to be equipped with the tools that enable them to to teach themselves and make their own decisions. No, the school is not there to equip your child with anything. The school is there to turn your child into something. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you think this is a Democrat thing, it's not. It's not a Democrat. It's a Republican thing. Because back in 1885, if you would have tried to put this through the school system in 1885, I guarantee you, whether you were a Democrat or a Republican, you wouldn't have supported it. It would have been like, are you crazy? That's like, that's so alien to what America is. Now, never mind the degrees to which America may have been not consistently living their values. They still, there was at least a significant part of them that held on to these values, the idea of individual liberty, of, of the individual being the most important element in a society. And that's all changed, folks.